Despite being an AI leader, Alphabet has only matched the S&P 500's performance over the last year, lagging behind many mega cap peers. Concerns over ChatGPT and regulatory scrutiny have fueled this relative underperformance. But this narrative misses some important nuances behind Alphabet's model. Google search is ubiquitous. We don't search, we Google. In the two years since ChatGPT's launch, Google's global share of search has fallen only a few percentage points to 90%. Most importantly, Google still dominates the top of the funnel. Think monetizable search like shopping, travel, and product or pricing research around that spend. Morgan Stanley survey data shows that Google's position in researching products online and comparing prices remains market leading and largely unchanged in consumers' minds. And remarkably, 15% of daily Google searches are entirely new, showing how ingrained our search behavior really is. Most importantly, Alphabet is best positioned to ride the next wave of AI-enabled search. And we've begun to see evidence of this with Google Search's new AI overviews, which is AI-generated answers to search queries. Alphabet's AI edge lies in a combination of its proprietary large language model, Gemini, unique data, and its monetization know-how. Let's run through those three core advantages. First, Gemini now ranks ahead of OpenAI's models according to industry model performance leaderboards. Gemini is trained on Alphabet's custom AI semiconductors called Tensor Processing Units, or TPUs for short. With TPUs, Alphabet doesn't solely rely on expensive NVIDIA GPUs like competitors such as OpenAI and can thus very significantly optimize costs across software and hardware layers. Second, Alphabet has an unrivaled pool of first-party data from its 2 billion plus users across platforms like Search, Chrome, Maps, Gmail, and YouTube, not to mention its existing web index and direct paid agreements with knowledge sources like Reddit, which help it train Gemini. This means better models that generate more accurate answers for users. And there's evidence this is working. Following the launch of Google Search's AI overviews in the US, Google Search's share of the market in the US has grown. We would imagine that today, following the further global rollout of AI overviews, Google would now lead AI query volume by a significant magnitude, purely via traffic to its traditional search bar. Third, the question for Al Alphabet and its mega cap tech peers is the return on AI investment. And we think Alphabet is well positioned to develop a sustainable business model and generate ROI. Alphabet's ad tech and the network effect between advertisers and publishers is hard to replicate. And there's evidence that AI overviews is working for both engagement and monetization to generate that ROI. Management has already commented that AI overviews monetize at comparable rates as traditional search. As mentioned previously, following the launch of Google Search's AI overviews in search results in the US, we have actually seen Google Search market share grow in the US. Google is now rolling out this product globally. But Alphabet isn't just an AI story. There are multiple ways to win. YouTube captures 26% of the total US streaming TV time, outpacing Netflix's 19%. It is also the most popular podcasting platform in the US, overtaking Spotify and Apple. The Android ecosystem has more total users than Apple and continues to win global market share. And Google's cloud business grew faster than hyperscale peers Microsoft and Amazon in the last quarter. Regulation remains an unknown, but it will take many years to resolve. Despite the many ways to win, the stock is priced at just 17 times 2026 earnings, with earnings forecast to grow mid-teens per annum over the next three years. Alphabet is not only cheaper than the market with a much better growth profile, but it's cheap versus its own history and its peers. Alphabet is a great example of pragmatic value.